Balake. Where is Balake at? My name is Blake. Do you want to go to war, Balaki? I'm for real. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is back, everyone. Uh, welcome to a little bit more SPTV, where every day is a great day not to be in a cult. Well, today we're talking about the updates in Leah Remini's war. Not to Balaki's war. Small little update, guys. Um, I just honestly have a little bit of time to kill. I think you guys were probably by now expecting uh, us to have already done a live stream, picking up Natalie and Tony from the airport. Guys, as Natalie and Tony's flight was arriving to the Clearwater St. Pete Airport, we got a tornado warning. Uh, along with incredibly strong rainstorms, their flight was diverted to Fort Myers. They were just going to refuel and take off and then come back to Clearwater. Something happened with the plane. Um, they were having a problem getting off the ground, having a problem finding another plane. Anyway, Tony and Natalie are now driving from Fort Myers to Clearwater. There was a whole crowd of us at the airport waiting for them. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the best laid plans of mice and men. Is that how the saying goes? Okay, so I'm back here waiting uh, to know when Natalie and Tony are going to arrive. And in the meantime, that's why we're doing a tiny little update like this. Sorry for the whole explanation, but honestly, I I, I thought we were already going to have many live streams done. Um, Tony and Nat, Tony and Natalie arriving, um, going to the grocery store, going to Costco, all, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so here's the update. The last video I did on, on Leah Remini's case, uh, all of her hearings, had been canceled. Um, the the judge had been removed from the case. Scientology had filed what they call a peremptory challenge. They just have to say, we think the judge is unfair. They don't have to give a reason why. The judge had already found against, ruled against Scientology in many of the motions. Scientology, David Miscavige wasn't happy with that. They said, we don't like this judge. We want a new judge. Um, Leah Remini said, hey, while we're asking for a new judge, could we please have the judge that's overseeing uh, the Bixler lawsuit against David Miscavige and Scientology? Because that judge already is familiar, by virtue of overseeing that case, already familiar with many of the parties and much of the facts associated in my case as well. It sure would be good if we could have the same judge. Well, the update is uh, bad news. She didn't get the same judge. Good news. She already got a new judge. Hearings are back on the calendar, May 29th. Let's take a look at this. So this is just, uh, guys, just a simple filing. May 29th, 8.30 a.m., Stanley Mosque Courthouse, 111 North Hill Street. Anyone in the, LA, in the L.A. area that wants to show up for this, please feel free to show up for this. Anyone can go to these things. Um, this is the previous ruling that uh, Judge Randolph Hammock had made granting David Miscavige's request to remove him from the case and ordering that all future hearings um, be taken off the calendar. And that's it, guys. So the judge in this case, her name is Holly Fuji. And to the best of my understanding, she doesn't actually have any previous experience or with any Scientology cases or no reason to believe she has any knowledge of Scientology. I know, that, you know, judges are supposed to, I don't know, in some cases, I wonder, are, is it better, judicially speaking, procedurally speaking, is it better for a judge to have no knowledge base? And when I say better, I don't mean better for the plaintiff or better for the defendant. Better for the um, execution of justice? They say justice is blind. I know that's supposed to mean you have no biases or anything. Uh, procedurally speaking, jurisprudence-wise, is it better for a judge overseeing a Scientology case, to have no previous knowledge of Scientology, no involvement with any previous Scientology cases, or is it better for them to have that experience? Now, I know, I feel like, as someone who's always going to be rooting for the plaintiff side of a Scientology, of a lawsuit against Scientology, I want a judge who does have experience with Scientology. I guess what I'm speaking is, but, that, but that's, a, that's a biased perspective. I want a judge that understands that the various ways in which David Miscavige and Scientology try to perpetuate fraud uh, uh, to the court, the various ways in, in, in the way they try to pretend, lie about the fact that they try to lie about David Miscavige controlling Scientology. They try to, David Miscavige, controlling Scientology, what? What are you talking about? Have you seen the organizational structure of Scientology? David Miscavige isn't even on the board of directors of the Church of Scientology. How could he possibly control Scientology? That's insane. 
like I said, I want a judge who already knows all of the various ways in, in which that's totally BS. But I know that um, Scientology would take advantage of any prior knowledge or involvement a judge had in any case, especially if you look at the, that, that judge's previous history of ruling in those cases, they would argue, uh, they would either make a peremptory challenge, which they've already done. I don't think once you've made one peremptory challenge, I don't think you can make another one. But if this lawsuit were to not go their way, I think it's a, it stands to reason that they would use that judge's previous history in any Scientology cases as something to bring up on appeal. Maybe that's something I should talk to my lawyer friend, Zach, about. That's that's a pretty good idea. Um, so again, guys, not a huge update, just a little update, just sharing it with you. Um, Better Together says, Osa, send the tornadoes. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Send the tornadoes. Um, Eric Rader says, hi, Aaron. If I could be the judge of this case, it would be over in three minutes. LOL. Have a great weekend. P.S. I hope you got my text. I think I did get your text, Eric. I've been super, super preoccupied the last few days getting ready for um, everyone coming into town. So apologies for not having responded, but I definitely will. Uh, all right, guys. That's it. Short and sweet. Not sure how long it's going to take. Depending on how long it's going to take for Tony and Natalie to arrive, I might try to squeeze in another video um, before they get here. Oh, Blake Reed. Interesting thumbnail, Aaron. I forgot to comment on the thumbnail. I'm so tired of reusing the same thumbnails in my Leah Remini lawsuit videos that I was like, let's spice it up a little bit. <laughs> There's only so many pictures of Leah Remini and so many pictures of David Miscavige that I can squeeze uh, into uh, the thumbnail image on YouTube that I was like, what's something we haven't used before? So there you go, guys. You, you're very, you're, you're welcome for that. Uh, let me see if there's any comments I'm missing. Let me try to look for some member comments. Oh, uh, Marissa says she, uh, she looks cute in the thumbnail. Yeah. Blake says, yeah, no, you should. You should keep this one. There's other ones. There's other ones. I mean, you know, when um, uh, there's a whole lot of like magazines where where Leah did some uh, some like uh, uh, some you know photo shoots like that. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, Tilty Bird. What if you put Little Davy's face on Leah's body? No, 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 no. Forget I just said that. Yeah, no, that would be that would be horrible. Uh, let's see. Looking for a few other member comments. Um, oh, Sassy Savage. What a wonderful surprise to come on and be green. Thank you to my unknown gifter. Sounds like Sassy Savage got one of those donated channel memberships. Awesome. Welcome as a, as a member, even if it's temporary, Sassy. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Anything else? And I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of comments. I'm just looking for any I want to bring up before we wrap it up. All right, let's just uh let, let's call it. Let's call it right there. All right. Hang in there, guys. So much excitement coming uh, later this week, this weekend, early next week. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss any of it. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you to everyone who watches until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. If you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here if you have subscribed or not subscribe right here Bye.